In this Tech Bytes video, we're going to take a look at user management in Parallels Browser Isolation. So there are three key screens. One is Users. It's unlikely that you'll actually need to do too much to this user screen. And the reason for that is when we set up connection to the identity provider, and that is a separate video within this series, we connect it into that identity provider such that as soon as a user tries to log in to Parallels Browser Isolation, it verifies with the identity provider. Once they successfully log in, it will automatically put their username and their last login time here. The reason you would add a user at this point is if you wanted to add the user's information before they logged in. So for example, you wanted to give them specific access to an application before they logged in so that when they logged in, the application was available. You've also got groups. Now this is more likely that you would fill these in. So you would add a group. That group needs to exist inside the identity provider itself. What you can then do, and this is more kind of typical, is you would associate the group inside the application. So if we just show you what that looks like, I can see because I've added those groups in user management, I can see them as available groups in my application and I can choose that group and assign that group accordingly. I've also got administrators. So at this point I can do the same thing with administrators. I can add administrator users. They will then be able to log into the console you can see now or more typically, I would add a group which contains administrators and that group of administrators would be able to log in and see the console. And that concludes this video on Parallels Browser Isolation User Management. To find out more about how Parallels Browser Isolation works, feel free to catch the rest of the videos in this Tech Byte series.